What's going on? It's your boy, Yaz B. All right, so we are talking about racism at Amazon delivery. And as I looked into this article, because this is an actual article that I'm going off of, it wasn't just the delivery side. It was also what Amazon Flex. So that was pretty trippy. I never even really thought about what goes on with the Amazon Flex side, but it makes sense once I thought about it. And the reason why I'm going to talk about it is because there was an article that just came out on this topic. And I think it was interesting because the situation that they're talking about, or some of the situations, I was actually in them on the delivery side. If you haven't been following my channel for too long, I've actually done racism at Amazon Warehouse. If you haven't checked that out, go check that out. So it's only right that we do it on the delivery side. And the reason why I do want to touch on these things, first of all, this one had a full blown article in the press about it. So I wanted to touch on it. And also these are real life situations that do happen. So we're going to get into this article and we're going to see what the actual owners of the DSPs had to say about this. What Amazon spokesmen, because y'all know I'm not the spokesman nor a representative of the company, but what they said about it. Then I'm going to give my two cents on certain experiences that I've had in these situations. Then I'm going to talk about what you should, what you shouldn't do, all that good stuff. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to read it and then I'm going to get out this uncomfortable position so I could be facing y'all again. But we're going to just start off with the article. It says racial bias in Amazon delivery reviews can lead to lower pay and layoffs. First off, I didn't even know that. I was working on a delivery side for what, six, seven months? I didn't even, I'm going to talk about that, but I didn't even know customers feedback can do that. But that was the headline of this press release. Let's see what they are talking about. So it says delivery contractors, which are the owners of the DSPs, because Amazon doesn't own the delivery side. They're contracted through these DSPs. So it's saying the owners are saying that there is racism and it's affecting some of their best and most productive employees. Interesting. Let's read into this. It says Amazon drivers have it pretty hard already. That's an understatement. <laughs> but the delivery companies they work for are warning the retail giant of other issues with the algorithm. Racism. It says the problem lies with the customer review feature. Amazon allows customers to give drivers either a thumbs up or thumbs down and then allows very limited reasons for the thumbs down. I didn't know this. Um, some delivery contractors are ringing the alarm, telling Bloomberg the system is rigged against minority drivers. They say they've warned Amazon both directly and through a web form dedicated to contractors. So these owners of the DSPs are saying that that is an issue. I never use this. Even when I order through Amazon, I never give a thumbs up or thumbs down. Like I order stuff and that's it. But that makes so much sense. I didn't know that was a thing. They can give you a thumbs up, thumbs down without any type or real broad reason why. It says in interviews, eight current and former Amazon delivery contractors operating in Los Angeles, Seattle, Georgia, Northern California, etc., all describe the same pattern. Lower ratings for drivers of color. And this is the thing it says, especially when deployed to neighborhoods where their race or ethnicity stand out. <laughs> I was in this situation, we gonna talk in a minute. Says contractors did some research documenting how racial and gender and age bias all influence the customer's impressions of service workers, from waiters to taxi drivers, etc. And it says companies have been accused for years of doing too little to prevent bias from affecting customer feedbacks, but are harvesting more of this kind of data all the time. Then they go on to say, to give your customer that much power over the delivery process itself, you are assuming that the customer is coming from a good natured position. There's some good stuff right here. Said the Amazon contractor in Northern California, who, like every other delivery firm, owners requested not to be known their relationship with the company. So then we go into the Amazon's um, representative and their response. They said, this is a spokesman for Amazon, told Bloomberg they were aware of the problem and were reviewing all available information, then taking appropriate action based on the facts available to us. It says they specifically highlighted blacklisting customers. Have you ever heard of an Amazon customer blacklisted? <laughs> Let's be honest here. Never. Everybody who's heard of blacklisting a customer, raise your hand and say, I, nobody in the room. <laughs> Listen, maybe I guess it does happen. Anybody in the comment section, do you know of anybody who's been blacklisted? I didn't even know that was a thing, but let's continue. So then they go into a little more detail. It says when a customer um, clicks the thumb down, a list of checkable options pops up, including such vague choices as did driver not follow my delivery instructions or the driver was unprofessional that don't require any type of more information than that. The driver was unprofessional. That could be somebody 
whose shirt is untucked. That can be somebody's truck who's dirty. You feel me? It ain't even their fault. That could be somebody who has a, maybe a type of style of clothing that they don't like. That, there's no, that's so broad. <laughs> the driver was unprofessional. I see what they're saying in this article. And what they're about to describe is something I've noticed, but I didn't know they had an actual term for this right here. And it makes sense, not just for Amazon delivery. In all areas in the workforce, this is definitely a thing. So they go on to say this kind of feedback prone is called implicit bias from the customer who may be more forgiving of minor mistakes from people who look like them and judge those perceived as outsiders more critically. Is that not life? <laughs> That's like life right there. Forget just Amazon delivery. That right there is a perfect way to describe a whole lot of what goes on. I didn't know they had an actual name. I've thought of that term, but I didn't know it was an actual term and a name. What was it called? Implicit bias? We got to read that again for customers who may be more forgiving of minor mistakes from people who look like them and judge others who are perceived outsiders more critically. I've seen this in the warehouse. I've seen this at every job I've been to. So they're saying that this takes place on the delivery side for sure. These people, the owners of these DSPs, and they say that this is a trend. Then I'm going to read this last part right here, then going to get into my thoughts and all that stuff and my experiences. So it says, it's certainly dangerous to leave the hiring raises and even firing decisions up to the metrics of the algorithm. So I didn't know that. If this is how people were getting raises due to the customer's response, very dangerous, very unreliable, just due to off the little things that they brought up right now. It says, this is the company that was found to be firing flex drivers automatically via email a few years ago. Artificially low customer scores can cause good workers to miss out on pay raises or even lose their job. I didn't even think of this taking place on the Amazon flex side. That's a whole nother ball game because it is more of an issue or struggle on the flex side, in my opinion, because at least on the delivery side, you got a big old van that says Amazon. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully they ain't got you in the robber van, one of their little kidnapping vans that they be trying to put people in with no Amazon side. It say hurts talking about, oh, go deliver at nighttime. <laughs> terrible, terrible idea. Whoever thought Uncle Jeff we need to fix that part of the delivery side. But when it comes to the flex side, I would be out delivering in the van and see the flex drivers. And I'd be like, that just don't look right. <laughs> it's dark, <laughs> old car pulling up tenant windows, hopping out with a package. You know what I mean? And then you can finally see a vest. It's like, uh, I can see how people can use, what is that? Implicit bias. I can see how that takes place. So my experience with this, I was actually in one of these exact situations where it says lower ratings for drivers of color, especially when deployed to neighborhoods where their race or ethnicity stand out. <laughs> you feel me? I was in, what's that place called again? Scottsdale, Paradise Valley. And in some of those places, literally when I would pull up and then it just get all quiet, you can tell. <laughs> You can tell, but I've never thought about their responses for me or the customer review for my delivery. My whole six months, I never checked my customer thumbs up. I didn't, I really didn't care. But throughout my whole six months, seven months, none of my um, dispatch or even the manager, they never came up to me. It was like, Hey, you get some bad customer reviews, but there was a few times where my dispatch was like, Hey, <laughs> Y'all know where we delivering, be careful and really make sure you're not even doing the little things wrong. You know what I mean? It was kind of put out there like, look, y'all know where we delivering. Let's just make sure we on point, which we should always do. But I'm not saying it verbatim because it kind of gave that vibe that they're talking about on here. So when it comes to the responses, like I said, I don't really know my responses that I got, but I know the responses in real life that I felt. There were plenty of times when I was in certain neighborhoods, there was a weird vibe, just being a hundred, walking into certain complexes and certain living spaces that's gated, <laughs> you feel me? It hits different. I actually said it in one of my delivery vlogs when I was in, I think it was Paradise Valley. When you enter in, first of all, they got gated communities for a lot of them. And those is multi-million dollar homes. But the thing is, and it's big land, you feel me? So the driveway, then you got to walk all the way up to the house. When you get to the house, half of the house is glass, <laughs> you feel me? And there was times where I've walked up to deliver the package and half of the house is glass, I see somebody right there on the bed looking right at me and we don't look nothing like each other. You feel me? I don't have a problem with that, but me, I felt like, 
uh, I didn't look. <laughs> I felt the tension to the point. I was like, you know what? I ain't even finna look over there. <laughs> and the reason why there are some people, listen, we have to get out of a mindset where this ain't like a real thing. There are people who do not like people just because of the way that they look. And in that situation with me, when I went into, you know, like these multi-million dollar homes and, and then somebody sleeping right there, one of the things I thought was like, hmm, First off, it didn't feel comfortable on my end and I didn't even look. I can tell they I can tell this for sure. They was not comfortable that I was right there and I was right in there. I'm seeing them sleep on their bed where they lay their head. So imagine a person who doesn't like a type of person because of the way that they look. They might be able to deal with it in the stores. They might be able to deal with it even in the workplace. At least, you know what I mean, cover it up and make it look like, oh, hey, 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 how you doing? <laughs> I like LeBron James too. Hi. Yeah, okay, bye. <laughs> you know, that type of thing. But when that person that you don't like is walking onto your property, going to your front door, seeing your inside of your house and you on your bed sleep, <laughs> what I was thinking was like, hmm. What if you feel me? They're like they use this type of situation. Uh, thumbs down. Very unprofessional. This, this, this. Just because they're not comfortable with me on their property to get me off of their property. Now, does that happen? I'm pretty sure it does. <laughs> Why do I say that? Listen, this. I'm not going. This part right here is not off an article. This is personal experience. That was one of the times I felt the most uncomfortable, and not like me being scared. I just, I'm very aware of what people will say of energy, vibes, all that stuff. I knew there were certain people who was very uncomfortable with me being on their property, especially those type of properties where it's like, I can see every, like I see everything in there and I'm not that type of dude. But they don't know that. You know what I mean? People have their own perspectives on what certain people look like and how they act and live. But I can see how this could take place in that up, thumbs down. I don't want that. Why? Well, I don't want him on my property. <laughs> Out of all the Amazonians, you sent him? <laughs> I'm just saying, there's people who think like that. And then it's even crazier because you have the owners bringing the attention to this. They see the numbers and they actually tracked it saying, yo, the people of color across the board are getting the lowest rating. And then they even go so far to state some of them were some of their best employees. So I think this is an issue if those stats affect something if they affect your pay if they affect people getting laid off then that's an issue in that article like i'm saying i don't know if how true that is on the flex side it was affecting their pay that's an issue if that is the case now <laughs> y'all know me i try to keep it as balanced and honest as i can from every point of view now listen <laughs> One thing that got to change, you feel me? Because we can't state all this without pointing out some issues. Now, listen, there was times where I was in them neighborhoods, right? I mean, real nice neighborhoods, Scottsdale, super wealthy area. And I'm delivering. I'm out there, you feel me? Hopping out my van, working hard, you feel me? Bang, bang. No issues. You know, I'm doing my job. And all of a sudden, I hear, you know, before I even see what's coming, I hear what's coming. Just i'll bust somebody in the head i'll shoot blah, 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 blah. I bu like craziness right i remember i was in the van window was open i think i was getting ready to get out and i'm like please 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 no please like i hear it coming quiet neighborhood very rich neighborhood and then all of a sudden you know when it happens people start coming outside so i'm like oh no please no a fedex van come dude is pulling up bumping nwa from 1994 <laughs> The people are automatically going to judge that, judge me, the whole situation. Now, listen, I'm not about hiding who you are. If you listen to what you listen to, bet you feel me, run it up. But not on the job, not in Scottsdale on the job with your, look at my dog. He is all up in the camera. You want to get in the camera? Come on. Come on, Marcy. You want to come on the camera? I don't know if you can see my dog in the picture, but he is just chilling. Decide to stop, right? Anyways, there's nothing wrong with what you listen to. There's nothing wrong with that. But this ain't even just for rap. This is for, I don't care if you out there bumping rock. You feel me? What's that kid rock? You feel me? It's all about the nookie. Whatever. <laughs> when you're working, you should keep it professional. Because the same way I work at corporate and I can't go up in there bumping no red hot chili peppers in the office, which I would never bump. I can't tell you none of these songs. But I'm just saying, the same way I can't do that in the office, I should treat the job even if it's out there on the on delivery the same way we are out there representing a company so as i was saying this fedex come up blasting you know some rap music cussing and all that stuff in this neighborhood that's peace and quiet my dog right here again 
And then he stops every house. You feel me? Getting out. So every time he stops, he's opening the door and it's just blasting in the neighborhood. Now, what do you think customers will do? Yeah, people can sit there and say, oh, well, that's racist. No, let me tell you, I'm a homeowner right now and I don't care if you outside bumping country. You feel me? I got a barbecue stain on my white T-shirt. Turn that down in front of my house. You feel me? I don't care what it is, even if it's something I listen to. I like peace and quiet. If you're in a neighborhood, be considerate. So I'm sure there's people that day in that example, like I said, the FedEx driver came out just blasting music, whatever you're blasting, rap, rock, whatever it is. There's people who enjoy and pay that money for peace. So I can definitely see some of them customers. Um, what they say was one of the options unprofessional unprofessional and let's say that affected his pay i can see that person being mad oh man well why did you know what because room and it's like bro we have to represent ourselves we we are on the job we have to represent our company <laughs> that's something you probably shouldn't do so listen all my delivery drivers out there <laughs> at least when you in on the street of your driver turn the music down flex drivers how about, you know, not blowing smoke, <laughs> you feel me, on your route? Like if you're working, people, this is regular work etiquette. Be professional on the job. That right there can do wonders. Here's another thing. If you're on the phone, and this is something because I was on my phone a lot doing delivery, but when I would get close to the door, if there's customers around, you feel me? I'm just, I'm not, I'm not talking because I know there's ears listening, whether, and I'm not talking nothing crazy anyways, but you never know. Let's say if you're a politic person, you go onto somebody's property and you talk in politics, let's say they ain't even outside. They pick it up on the ring doorbell because they be listening to their ring doorbells. Boom. Oh, he talking about who, who down. I uh, don't like this driver. Never send them. Never. You see what I'm saying? Be careful on the job. Have work etiquette. Also, here's another important thing. I've seen this. Please do not do this. Listen, there are people who may not like delivery people just by the color of their skin. They may not want them on their property. That's a fact. I felt that type of vibe before. But here's the thing. Let's say you go and deliver on somebody's property and they give you an attitude, right? Listen, because <laughs> I've seen this. Don't do this. Do not argue with nobody. I don't care if they are a racist. If you're on their property, <laughs> do this and go you feel me i know i know it's gonna hurt your pride you don't want to put hands on them but listen being on somebody's private property is a big deal it can be something that takes place and it could be their word versus your word and you on their property so if you do come across customers and you know they feel some type of way just because of how you look do what you got to do and skate you feel me don't sit there and argue if they give you an attitude i've seen people getting into arguments ready to fight people on their property and then they get in trouble on the job and it's like yeah well i couldn't just sit there and this da, da, da. no you need to just and just get off their property and keep it pushing i know that sounds like the worst thing to do but it's the best thing to do legally you feel me <laughs> financially for your job i never got why people would do that <laughs> if i mean this is one thing i think one reason why i never dealt with that i'm kind of a you know a big dude i'm kind of laid off the weights it's coming back though don't trip i'm finna get on it i never understood why customers would do that because it's like yo you know i know this is where you lay your head and i think that's one reason why people do respond that way with the down you know the little oh i don't like this driver because that's very personal i even thought about that myself when i had that encounter it never left me when i seen that person on their bed looking at me feeling very uncomfortable i was like yo first of all i didn't like the way that felt but even for them i know they didn't like that you know what i mean like i know where you lay your head that could be a scary feeling imagine if i would have walked in i would just mad dog them <laughs> If I had the box, you know, and I feel him looking, I was just like, and I gave him a slow look too. <laughs> I should have did that just to mess with him. Should have just walked up, moved, stopped. <laughs> they would have had a heart attack. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> 911. <laughs> but <laughs> you feel me? They ain't going to have me on no ring camera going viral talking about watch out for this driver. <laughs> anyways listen be careful all the drivers out there be careful this is a real situation that happens 
But anyways, you know me, this video will be 30 minutes long. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to hit the notification bell. If you haven't yet, be sure to um, hit the subscribe button. Yes, I'm also an artist. I go by the name of SB. I just dropped my new EP called Dreams of Motivation. It is on iTunes, all that good stuff. Link will be in the bio if you want to check it out. And be sure to keep an eye out on the lives. We go live every Thursday at 7. Other than that, I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. It's your boy, SB. Let's go. SP, 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 welcome to the land of the motivated, the motivated, the motivated, motivated value, let's go, welcome to the land of the motivated, motivated, setting goals and overtaking, I'm talking big moves, corporate